this is Hemabindu, Assistant Professor in IARE College. So today in this video, what are the definitions we have in the regular languages? So second unit. So how many definitions we have, we will discuss in this video. So what is meant by regular languages? So regular expressions, uh, we have so many definitions like uh, related with the regular languages, so regular uh, languages. So this regular languages which we have in the for hierarchy, so this is the hierarchy of Chomsky hierarchy of form, uh, formal uh, finite automata. So here we have the four types of languages. So those are all. So first one is a type type zero. So that that is a uh, language recursive enumerable language. And next one is a Context sensitive language, this is a type 1 and the context free language, this is type 2 and this regular grammars, regular languages are type 0, sorry type 3. So these are all the different types of languages in the formal languages. So formal, uh, formal languages, so here we have four types here. So in this one, the first one we are going to discuss the regular languages. In this, how many uh, definitions we have with these languages, how we will represent the finite automata and how we will represent the regular expression, we will discuss. So first one is a regular expression. So a regular expression is a string that describes a whole set of uh, strings according to certain syntax rules. So here. Uh, regular expression. So by seeing the regular expression, we can directly say that this is the language and this is the finite automata for this regular expression. So this regular expression generally describes the whole set of strings. So with a single line, we will represent uh, the, with the single line representation. We can form a transition diagram. We can form a uh, language, and we can form the strings, multiple strings from that languages. So this is nothing but the regular expressions. And uh, define acceptor. So what is meant by acceptor? So it is a automaton that computes a boolean function is called acceptor. So Acceptor is nothing but when we are giving one input, it will accept or reject the mission either S Boolean value. So Boolean nothing but a Boolean values are S or no or true or false like that. So when we give one input, it will accept or reject. We have only two values are there. So the all the states of an acceptor is either accepting or rejecting the input given to it. So that is nothing but when we give input as a to the acceptor, either it will uh, accept or reject. So we have only two values are there. That is the acceptor. And next, what is a regular language? So language coming to the language, we have the language represented by the regular expression is called a regular languages. So, we generally denote the regular expression in a single line. So, that single line representation, we can form the language. With that expression, we can form the languages. So, the language which we have a multiple, what are the possibilities of strings with that languages, we will write it as a regular languages. And what is a regular set? So, set a special set of words over input alphabet. So here, uh, whatever the what input alphabet is there, so here sigma is the input alphabet, suppose 0, 1 is the input alphabet. So what are the special set of words? So here, what are the possibilities of words with these two input symbols? Those are all represented as a regular set. So here, regular set for these two strings, so we can write it as a regular set is equal to with the, what are the possibilities special set of words so what are the special set of words 0 0 1 1 and 1 0 1 0 like this so these are all the values so we these are all named as a regular set so a special set of words over the input alphabet is called the regular set 
irregular languages which is accepted by the finite automata is called a regular set so what type regular set we are saying that name itself it is having regular so that which type of languages it will accept in the sense regular languages are going to be accepted by the regular set and we are going to discuss about the clean closure so clean closure of is designed uh, defined by the so here previously we saw that uh, uh, clean closure of alphabet so here this represents the uh, sigma so here alphabet is equal to 0 comma 1 is there so what are the possibilities of this values two alphabets we will represent as a 0 0 1 0 0 1 and double 1 and so on so here this star indicates so power set of power set of zero union power set of uh, one and union two like this and so on so this is about the clean closure so what are the values so what is the set of this regular set of in the sense what are the possibilities over this special alpha uh, alphabets are named as a a regular set. So, clean closure or regular sets are here. And positive closure, so here generally will represent as a positive closure epsilon plus. So, here excluding this epsilon, we will write all one, all values 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and so on. So, here how, how we will represent this 0 one, union. 2 union, 3 union and so on. So, this is about the positive closure. So, here the regular set for this one and identify the equi uh, equivalent identity rule for the R all star. So, here we are, uh, we have the regular expression, we are having the regular expression. So, here when we are going to use this identity rules. So here when we have the input value as a finite automata that is nothing but a transition diagrams we have. So for this one how to represent the values in the regular expression. So this finite automata is going to be converted into a regular expression. So in this in this conversion we require this identity rules where we are using this identity rules while converting the finite automata into a regular expression we require this one. So, what is the identity rule for this one? R R star. So, R R star is nothing but. So, this is the one regular expression and this is one regular expression. So, R R star is equal to R star R. So, here we can, we can also write this as this like this. So, R R star is equal r is equal to the r star r we can uh, convert one form to another form so this is a r identity rule and r r star whole star so r whole star how many uh, values of whole star will be given as a all whole star is equal to the r star whole star is equal to the r star and next one identity rule r star r star is equal to so r star r star is equal to r star only concatenation of two uh, two regular expression is equal to the regular expression only so how we will represent all this one in the sense we have the uh, properties like uh, with the regular expression so regular expression of regular expression of uh, concatenation and uh, intersection and uh, clean closure will get the value of regular expression only and r plus y r so this represents it idempotent law so is equal to r plus r is equal to r only so these are the identity rules for the construction of a regular expression and identify the equivalent identity rule for R, R. So, R epsilon, R dot epsilon is equal to R epsilon dot R. 
both are equal to r only why because there is, this is the empty string so empty string with the concatenation of r will get the value of r only and next identity identify the equivalent or identity rule for pi l so phi is nothing but so here what is the difference between uh, epsilon and phi so epsilon is nothing but nothing string is there and pi is nothing but only phi so there is a no possibility of the string so here the empty string is also not accepted in the phi value so here pi is nothing but there is nothing here and here nothing into the language is also nothing so nothing into language is also nothing so that the values of pi only is pi and next one identity identify the equivalent identity rule for epsilon plus r r star so epsilon plus anything is equal to the anything only and here epsilon plus r star so what is this one so here r star and ident identify the equivalent identity rule for uh, identity uh, here this is uh, p q star whole star is equal to so p p q star whole star And next one, what is meant by pumping lemma? So, what are the pumping lemmas? What the statement says that pumping lemma is nothing but it is used to check whether the language, given language, is a regular language or not. So, we need to check with the state pumping lemma concept. So, this pumping lemma says that it is whether the given uh, language, what we are given as an input uh, language, so that language is a regular or not, it will check. So, with the pumping lemma concept, we cannot prove whether the, this language is only a regular language. So, this is the only negative test. We can say that it is a negative test for the language identification so here how to define this pumping lemma here we are going to take one language regular assume that it is a regular language then select a constant value n and uh, we need to select uh, a string from that uh, language and suppose here uh, a a b is there we need to take, uh, take this value and we need to divide the value into a three parts like u, v, w and assign the values and we need to check for the values like uh, we have to take the uh, statements like length of L. So, that is nothing but W. So, this entire is the L. So, Z is equal to A, A, B. And we can have to divide this value into a three parts, so that is u, v, w. And then we need to check the length of z is less than n. So, whatever taken the value of n is equal to 3 is there. So, here less than n is equal to 2. So, here this condition should be satisfied. And here after dividing, we need to convert, we need to check for the two more conditions. Like this, we can uh, we can test the language whether it is a regular or not. So you achieve a contradiction to the pumping lemma. So contradiction is achieved, then we can say that it is a language regular languages. It is a not a regular languages. And what is mean by add and theorem? So, here where we are getting this Adams theorem in the sense by converting the finite automata into a so finite automata into a regular expression, we require this model with theorem. So, here when we converting the equations we have with this form, we need to convert in this form. Then we will uh, eliminate right hand side, we will right hand side, we will eliminate the constant values like uh, capital values that is nothing but state names are eliminated so that with these two things we can form a regular expression. So, here this is the r is equal to q plus rp 
and we will get as a q p star there so this is the adams theorem checking the equivalence of two regular expressions so where we are using so to check the whether two regular expressions are correct or not uh, checking the equivalence of two regular expressions we can use this adams theorem and what is the closure property of regular sets so closure properties so here we have the closure properties three union concatenation and clean closure so union a concatenation and a clean closure these are the three closure properties of regular sets and here are examples so regular expression two regular expressions we have taken and regular expression of u2 union of two regular expression which is equal to the r1 plus r2 and dot concatenation represent it is equal to r1 r2 and r star is equal to the concatenation of sorry regular expression of clean closure is equal to the clean closure so these are the right hand side representation is the same but the meaning is same the class of regular sets are closed under the this sorry closed under the complementation substitution homomorphism and inverse homomorphism so these are the not possibilities properties for the regular sets and identify the regular expression for the string length exactly 2 so exactly is two in the sense let me write the first language so length of the string is exactly two and sigma is equal to a comma b is there so here length only two is accepted so here what are the possibilities of strings b a a b and b a and b b so they they mentioned only the length so the length is exactly two so here these are the possibilities of two length with this alphabet so that we this uh, will write this language in this regular expression so either it can start with a or it can start with b so that represents a plus b it is starting and second one either end with a or end with b so that means a plus b so this is the simple ex simple regular expression for the length 2 and one more example exactly length 3 so same thing so here starting ending and uh, in between so here there is no this uh, only they are mentioning the length of the string is 3 so that it can be either of the three uh, three uh, positions it can be either a or b so that we will write this as a length a plus b a plus b a plus b so here if you check the language so length 3 is a b b and a b a and a a b and what are the possibilities and so on so these are the only three length so that we will write this either it can start with a or in between a or b and ending a or b like this identify the regular expression for the string length at least two so at least two in the sense so two is the thing uh, so two is must and should other than the two uh, we can have multiple number of a's a uh, multiple length is there so that so what we can say that at least two so two is the mandatory so that zero zero or a b a a a b and b a and b b so this is the two length so this is must and should after this how many length is there how much of length is there that is accepted here so that says the length two is the mandatory and third one the ending is uh, ending we are writing a plus b whole star so this is the regular expression and identify the regular expression for the string length at most two so only uh, minimum is two and uh, sorry minimum is zero and maximum is only two length so that what are the possibilities of at most two length so here language 
So at most two length is epsilon is also accepted and A is also accepted and B also accepted and A, 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 B and B, A and B, B. So this is the only, so at most two length. So this is the only language we have for this regular expression, what we have mentioned for the regular expression. So for this one, so either it can have A or B or epsilon. So that way we have written like this. And this one, uh, next one, identify the regular sets of uh, sets for the given regular expression. So this is the regular expression and regular set. So regular set, how we will design? So what are the possibilities? So now it is 0 and 0 and zero, 1, 0 star. If you write the language, first it is having two choices. One is... So let me draw the transition uh, table, transition diagram. So zero with the zero input, it is reaching one state. Uh, so final state or it can have, so initial state, this is Q0 and Qn. And also we have the two choices, one, zero. So one, zero star. So we have a two options. So either it can start with the zero, Either it can start with, sorry. So either it can re reach the with the zero input symbol to the final state. So this is the first option. And for one also we can reach it. So here when we take zero star as a epsilon first string. So we'll epsilon. So one into epsilon, epsilon one. So with the zero or one input it is reaching the final state. And if you add one zero. So if you add 0 to uh, zero power 1, so 1, 0 is there. So 1, 0 also reaching the final state. And 1, double 0 and 1, triple 0 and so on. So these are the all possibilities of the string uh, length, uh, sorry, language for this regular expression. And identify the regular sets of a given regular expression. So your regular expression is when we take the minimum value, then we will uh, identify the what are the length set of states, regular sets for this expression. So if you take zero star is the regular expression starting. If you take the minimum value of uh, epsilon first and one wing uh, and the zero as epsilon zero power uh, zero is equal to epsilon. Then minimum string is, so then minimum string is 1 first, so 1 we are going to write. And here starting if you give 0 as an input and 1 and epsilon, so 1, 0, 0, 1 is there. And here when we add epsilon and 1 is mandatory and here we will get 0, so 0. And if you add the values like both the values so 0 1 0 and if you increase the in initial value 0 and if you increase the uh, ending value 0 0 and so on so these are the all possibilities of the set of uh, strings formed by this regular expression and identify the regular sets for the language regular uh, 1 1 star so 1 1 star so that represents so initially we need to start with the whenever we star appears first we need to take the minimum value of that value uh, clean closure so minimum value of this one one whole star is equal to so initially star is there we need to include epsilon and power of one one is equal to 11 uh, one one and one one two is equal to four ones and 1, 1, 3 is equal to triple 1, triple 1s. So like this. So this is about the regular set of including empty, sim, empty string we need to write. And identify the regular sets for given regular expression. So here A, A star and B, B star or B. So the set of strings consisting of even number of A's followed by odd number of b's. 
so here uh, let me uh, let me write the even number of even number length of the string and uh, a odd number of length of the string so here if you take if you see this one in this regular expression we have the values a b so here a is a a is there so here we have a two types of uh, languages even number of a's and even number of b's how we will say that even number of a's so even numbers are even numbers are so even numbers is equal to 0 2 4 6 and so on odd numbers is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 10 11 12 13 so even number and odd number so here if you observe even number of a's so if you take zero as an in, initially we uh, we need zero so for that one a a zero i'm sorry a a zero will get the value of zero only and if you write the power of a a one we will get the value of a a and if you write the value of a a 2 and you will get the values the length of this string is or even number so like this of our odd number we have so odd initially 1 is required so i am taking the b value and here next value is 3 so i need 3 i need value b b so this is the three length but we need to satisfy using a first value also so that i am writing it as a bb star so that first one so bb star b you now here i am taking as a zero so when we get and bb 1 b is equal to triple b and bb 2 b 5 b's So and so on. So if, they, if you observe the length of the string, what we after forming, so we got the length or number. So this is how we uh, combinedly together we uh, this regular expression says that even number of a's, even a's and odd b's, odd b's, concatenation of the both the two combinedly followed by. so number even number of a is followed by even number of r number of b and identify the regular set of the given regular expression so here this by seeing this one we can say that a s and b s of length even length can be obtained by concatenating and combining of the strings a a so here and b b including null so the language is here like this so concatenation of even length whole star or nothing so that means so l is equal to including null so here epsilon is going to be included here epsilon or a a b b and b b and what are the possibilities of this two length so if you observe this one the length of the string is even number so even number epsilon is there and two length is there and four length and next one identify the regular set for the given regular expression a plus b whole star a b b so what it says the substring ending with a b b so we can say that a and b with the substring a b b is ending so ending is a b b so that so a plus b whole star so this a b b is the minimum string then we can start with either a a b b is the string and we can start with b a b b is the string and we can also uh, so ending is must and true not a substring so ending so it, we can also write the multiple a's in the starting and also we can write the a b combinations and also we can start end with uh, uh, starting with b b or b a A, B, A, B. So these are all the possibilities of the languages which we got from the regular expression. 
So minimum length is here A, B, B and then we need to uh, start with the either A or B. So that A or B represents. So here epsilon A or B. So that is nothing but. So A plus B whole star. And with the uh, ending strip A, B, B. And identify the regular expression for the strings which begin or end with either 0, 0 or 1, 1. So here we have the two options. We have the values either it can start or end with the two values. So here this is one value and this is one value. We, uh, the string is going to be starting with this two, starting either of this two and ending with either of this two. So, how we will write this one? So, a plus 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and starting and uh, the string, this is a starting must and should and ending is also must and should and in between whatever there, it is a combination of 0 plus 1 whole star. So, 0 plus 1 whole star plus 0 plus 1 whole star, this ending with 0, 0, 1, 1. And identify the regular expressions for the strings with at least two C's. Two C's uh, in the sense. So, previously we discussed about the length, length, at least two length. So, that means it is a combination of A and B. So, that we have written the two values. But here they are asking for the two C's, at least two C's over C comma B. So, we have two input values in that one, only the one value is going to be length of the, sorry, at, um, the count of the value is two only. That means, so here C, C is there and uh, in between, so they are not mentioning about the sequence so that, so in between we can also have the two possible values A, B plus C and B plus C and B plus C. So, possibilities all the way. So, here starting, middle and end. So, this is how we are going to start, we are going to convert the regular expressions and we can form the regular, from the regular expressions to the languages. So, in this regular languages, we have, uh, we have the languages, regular expressions, regular uh, regular languages, how we will define the regular languages and what is the clean closure and how to define the regular sets for the uh, regular expression and how to design the regular languages from the regular expressions we have seen in this. So, what is the pumping lemma? So, pumping lemma is nothing but uh, it is a negative test to check whether the given language is a regular language or not. And what are the regular expressions for the given languages? And what are the lang what are the uh, languages for the given regular expressions? So this is about the definitions all in the regular languages. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.